the idea of the exhibition and the main inspiration, let's say, uh, it's the mist or the fog as a, an agent of uh, confusion, but it's not it's not a dark confusion, but rather confusion that allows to rethink things and take some distance. So yeah, like also distances are not are, are not perceived in the mist. So like. You could be anywhere, and uh, and this offers a chance to to hide and and transform. And this, it's more or less the idea that uh, connected our works and our thoughts uh, in the process. The exhibition is continuation of our previous exhibition. Uh, two years ago, we did an exhibition in a rent space called uh, Talking Station, and uh, this uh, was actually also like continuation of. Me uh, and my friend Will, our project in Hiuma in Suresatam. We did um, uh, exhibition, exhibitions in an old boatyard where my dad was working during the COVID. So uh, this actually brought us together as an artist group to work together on uh, some ideas of uh, rhizomatic thinking and new materialism. And also we wanted to explore more how to transform white cube gallery space in more like neutral and more like kind of um, space where the ideas are brought together and kind of get away from this kind of uh, sanitized gallery space feeling. So uh, this as a, our group, it, I think this is kind of like main focus or like uh, how to bring more this kind of also like natural thinking into a gallery space. Yeah, the connection between the works is not like necessarily uh, completely direct, but each work uh, echoes uh, the other, I would say. And uh, yeah, uh, Ingrid's work, works, for example, are like uh, uh, paintings of the shadows uh, of the leaves and the sun rays uh, piercing them uh, on the ground. And so in this case, they're like, uh, moving shadows, like if it, if they create meanings that come and go and changes constantly, and then there's space for yourself to, to create the meaning in, in, in them. Uh, we have together a book uh, there, which is the book of the Dragon House, and it's a collection of uh, uh, pictures of. Uh, stones with holes or uh, hollow trees or uh, unknown languages and so again like for us all our spaces where we can where we can see like a shadow that allows us to think uh, what is found inside what what meanings we can like uh, take from this from these shapes we have also a little tree house in the in the garden, and uh, this is inspired by uh, an Italian book, uh, the, ba the Baron in the Trees, which uh, tells the story of a guy who one day decides to climb on a tree and never comes back, and like uh, while living like only a few meters far from the others, is like living in a completely uh, far away context, and nobody can recognize him anymore as uh, one of them. So in these ways. In this way, somehow like a monster, even though like maybe there's nothing monstrous uh, in him, in uh, himself, and so yeah, wanted to find even this like spatial distance uh, from the gallery and like uh, which is uh, yeah also sometimes like needed to work like a bit far away from this context. And uh, then what else? Uh, uh, yeah, my work. Uh is a continuation of the performance I did in April in Lewis and Art House in London. The name of the piece is I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven and is uh, referencing popular culture and especially the title comes from Kanye West's song and is talking about um, uh, religious motives and uh, gallery as a church and also it's making a comment of becoming like this kind of in terms of being a contemporary artist how you have to self-promote yourself and become kind of like superstar figure in order to be a successful artist and what does it mean to uh, like what does it mean to be artist in this moment of time 
with in terms of like self rep representation and um, yeah and also funding of the artworks.